Many features in Office, including PowerPoint, are geared towards saving and sharing your files online. This is done through OneDrive, an online storage space for your documents and files that lets you access them even when you're away from your computer. If you want to use OneDrive, make sure you're logged into PowerPoint with your Microsoft account. First, let's take a look at the regular save command on the Quick Access toolbar. Just click, and if it's a new presentation, you'll be taken to the backstage view, where you can choose where to save your file. For now, let's save it to our computer. Click the Browse button to choose a location for your presentation, then enter a file name, and click Save when you're done. Now you can save it anytime by clicking the icon. If you want to save a different version, maybe in a different location or with a different file name, you can go to Save As in the Backstage view and follow the same steps. Again, you'll have the option of saving to OneDrive or to this PC. But if you primarily save files to your computer, you may want to change the default setting so this PC is always selected. To do that, click Options in the Backstage view, then select Save in the left pane. Now check the box that reads Save to Computer by default. When you're done, click OK. If you ever forget to save, or if your computer crashes while you're working, don't worry. The Auto Recovery feature saves a backup copy of your presentation automatically. To recover an unsaved file, all you have to do is reopen PowerPoint, and the Document Recovery pane should appear on the left. Here you can access any recovered versions of the file. By default, PowerPoint auto saves a backup copy every 10 minutes, so if you're working on something for less than 10 minutes, you may not be able to use this feature. You can also export your presentations into an alternate file type by clicking Export in the Backstage view. Exporting as a PDF is a good choice if you need to send a presentation to someone who doesn't have PowerPoint. This format lets them view but not edit the presentation using a free program that anyone can download. Under Change File Type, you can access several other formats depending on what you need. For example, if the person you're sharing with uses PowerPoint 2003 or earlier, you'll need to send them a 97 to 2003 presentation instead. To share your presentation with others, click the Share button in the top right corner. Next, you'll have to upload your presentation to OneDrive, so click on the option associated with your account. Once it's uploaded, you can email an invitation for others to view or edit the file. There are more ways to share at the bottom of the window, like attaching your presentation to an email or getting a shareable link. If you have Office 365, you can use the autosave feature once you upload your presentation to OneDrive. Whenever you make a change, it will automatically save your file. However, if you want to disable this feature, click the button in the top left corner. Keep in mind that if you deactivate auto-saving, you'll need to click the Save button every time you want to save. With so many options, how you save and share your work is up to you, whether it's exporting your file as a PDF or sharing your presentation online. GCF Global. Creating opportunities for a better life.